By the time you get to chapter 16, you'll be a pro at working with the pen tool and creating some adjustment layers and adding layer masks. Um, but just in case you've forgotten some of those wonderfully essential skills or perhaps you've skipped around a little bit in the book, I wanted to remind you about um, using the pen tool, making layer masks, adding adjustment layers. And this is just a good opportunity here at the start of chapter 16 because I start the work file by basically giving uh, students or readers uh, a prepped file. Um, and, um, you know, I just didn't have the page count to get into prepping the file like this for the task at hand in chapter 16. So um, here is a very quick um, demonstration of how I went about doing that. Um, so, if I were working on this, I would keep my original download, so I've got my background image, and I would just make a duplicate of that image, and I would rename the background original so I remember that that's what's going on there, and I would just uh, work with the next layer up, which I'll call my balloon layer. Now, the idea is that I wanted to select the balloon itself and kind of separate it from this background and then place it into another environment, kind of sky environment, where it would fly around in the sky. So in my opinion the easiest way to select something like this would be via the pen tool and um, in Photoshop I would um, have to basically create a path rather than a shape in this case because I'm thinking about making a selection. So um, remember if I just click without without dragging I'm going to get straight lines and if I click and drag let me zoom in a little bit I'll get curves and if I option click on my handle I'm gonna get a sort of change of direction so this is gonna be a really super fast <laughs> super 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 fast path going around this um, going around this balloon um, and in fact, just to save on time, I'm going to make this kind of not very good. <laughs> Let's see. The command key can be used to modify my Bezier handles as I'm, as I'm um, working my way around my image with my pen tool. So I'm still active with the pen tool here. I just moment for a brief moment there I used the command key to change my little bit, change my Bezier handles. I could kind of keep this intact a little bit. Okay. Close enough. And I'm not going to worry about all these little tiny details. I'm just going to go ahead and make some straight lines to finish this off. Remember that you want to end where you started um, and that will close the path. And in my Paths panel, and if you're not seeing your Paths panel, you can go under the Window menu, menu and find your Paths panel. Double-click your Work Path. Write on the name Work Path and give it a name. And then my favorite way to convert a path to a selection um, or to select any layer is to hold the Command key. And this is on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it would be the Control key. And Command click right on the icon for, in this case, for the path. So I command click the icon for the path and that converts my balloon path to a selection. You can see my marching ants there. If I go back to my layers panel, now I've got a selection on the balloon layer and when I press the add a layer mask icon in the bottom of my layers panel, I'm going to create a mask that includes everything inside the selection and omits everything that's outside of the selection. So that's my starting point. Now, what I would then do is bring that layer into my new document, um, and then you'll see when I do that that I'm going to need some adjustment layers. So why don't I go ahead and do that from here. I'll take my balloon layer, and I could drag it right over to my... Um, Oh, and I, you know what? I do that all the time. It's, that's the old CSS version. Right from the layer itself, I'll drag it right on top of the tab for my other file and then put it right there in the file. Now you can see the major difference here in my um, coloring. So um, 
I'll go ahead and turn off my balloon original group and here's where I'm going to need some adjustments. So I'll do a hue saturation adjustment layer. Um, I'll go ahead and press colorize and then um, now notice what's happening. As I'm changing my adjustments, it's affecting, my adjustment layer is affecting everything beneath it, including my original background there. So before I go much further, I'm going to option click right between the line here, right between um, the balloon layer and the hue saturation layer. So I'm just going to option click. Now that will clip my layer, uh, my top layer down to balloon. Um, and so that'll make like a clipping group between my layers. So now when I modify my properties, I'm actually going to be just modifying my properties of hue and saturation for the balloon layer. So now I can add um, a, a shift in the overall hue and saturation that's going to match a little bit my what my background image looked like. Um, and then I think I also had a color balance um, adjustment. And so the same thing, I'll add my color balance adjustment and then option click between the layers. And I'll bring my midtones a little bit more towards red. Oops, maybe a little bit towards magenta, maybe a little bit towards yellow. And certainly bring my shadows over in that direction as well. Okay, something like this. So here's how I arrived at my starting my starting point, but I also just took these three layers with a shift click and I put them into a new group, new group from layers from my top right menu. And I called it as you can see, balloon original. Okay. So, in a nutshell, your pen tool uh, is a great way to make a selection, especially around something so precise. Um, and then converting that to um, a selection in Photoshop is the way to then um, kind of convert that pen tool path into a layer mask. Um, and then just a reminder on adding some adjustment layers and cl possibly clipping those down if you need to so that they only affect the, the layer in question and not everything else.